All sinnies go to search mode. Search mode! Hey, you get another shovel out. I got Take 22. Snow out of here. On response. Is he breathing? IPRW is something we started probably six eight years ago. We bring all the production crew and riders together and we train on um, avalanche safety, first aid, and other challenges that we might face in the field. Day one, and uh, we're just breaking in some knots and hitches, just building the foundation for what we plan on doing in the field, and uh, we're gonna do some pretty exciting things. It's gonna be a good week. What are we setting up right here? This is called a dead man, and it's an anchor. We use this a lot to find the edge of a cornice, finding that perfect spot if we're gonna dig a pit on the slope, and then in extreme situations where you're dealing with cliffs, so you gotta go over here. The anchors are something you really need to know. Um, it's very simple, but it's also, there's no room for error. Today is all about first aid, which is Hopefully skills we never need to, to use, but essential for uh, something goes down in the backcountry, how to save someone. The main areas I'm worried about are pretty much neck to knee. I don't see bleeding, I don't see bones sticking out. Done. You're not gonna die in the next five to 10 minutes. We're doing a couple of different things, one of which is incorporating all of our rope work, actually using a manufactured sled to put the patient in, rig up a pulley system to actually lift them up a steep slope, turn around, secure them at the top, and lower them back down. Take our time. Whoa, a little slower through here. The last couple of years I've been riding with these up and coming kids, Frank and Jimmy, and uh, Last year we were out and Jimmy had a really uh, scary fall. You know, that could have turned into a real bad injury and you know, now we know how to take care of that, have our evacuation plan to get the person out of there. You know, I want my riding partners to be as smart as possible because they might need to be rescuing me someday. Last day, last scenario. This is uh, kind of our big last final scenario where we try to put everything together. So it's really important that we do this and kind of tie it together so everybody's kind of practiced because the likelihood of it happening is actually pretty real. You train because when something serious goes down in the mountains, it is the most horrific feeling in the world and it's something I expect all the people I'm in the mountains with to always be evolving and just retuning and, and uh, that's what we were doing.